Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Forex with a free US dollar index Elliott Wave analysis for you after the trading session dated Tuesday 28th of September has finished. Starting with a quick look at an historical chart at primary and cycle degree. We had the end of a cycle degree wave B down here. We're in a cycle degree wave C which is trending upwards. At primary degree it's going to subdivide into a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave impulse. We know it's an impulse because primary 1 has subdivided into an impulse and if it was a diagonal for the C wave at cycle degree that's the only other option and it requires every sub wave at primary degree to subdivide into a zigzag and that's not the case here with this first wave. So it's an impulse. So we have a primary 1 followed by a primary 2 expanded flat correction working on a primary third wave to the upside. This primary 2 expanded flat correction is an absolutely textbook perfect expanded flat. Wave C is just 1.94 short of 1.618 the length of A. A subdivides to a 3 as does B. C is a 5 wave structure and is 1.618 the length of A. This third wave at primary degree can only subdivide into an impulse. So far we've had one working on the end of two to the downside and then we'll have a third wave at intermediate degree to the upside which must make a new high above one and is likely to move significantly above that. When we have an end to two black at intermediate degree we'll calculate a target to the upside for that upcoming third wave. Within this wave two blue we've had a long A B and we're working on a C to the downside, taking you to a daily chart just for the last one year where this two black and this one black and this primary two is this primary two and one black and two black down here and there's our five waves up at minor degree to end an intermediate first wave with an A, B and working on a C now to the downside for our intermediate second wave. This target to the downside here, 76.48, is where pink wave 5 within the C wave will reach equality with pink wave 3. And 74.98 is where C blue, which began here, will reach equality with A blue. And that's the most common relationship between A and C of a zigzag. And the second wave at intermediate degree is a zigzag. Short term invalidation point, we should not see price move above 82.62 while C blue is completing. Any movement above that point is going to indicate that we have a low in place and that the dollar is likely to rise significantly higher. We should not expect with this continuing downwards movement price to move any, further, any move at all below 74.18. Wave 2 black can touch the start of wave 1, price can touch 74.18 but it cannot move any distance at all below it because wave 2 cannot move beyond the start of wave 1. Ratios within wave 2 black. Blue wave B here was a 40% correction of blue wave A, pretty close to a 0.382. Within wave C blue, pink wave 3 here is just 0.17 short of 4.236 the length of this little wave 1. 4.236 is an unusual Fibonacci ratio but it is a mathematically correct Fibonacci ratio. Within pink wave 3, green wave 3 here has no Fibonacci ratio that I can find to green wave 1, but green wave 5 is just 0 0.05 short of equality with green 3, and 4 is a little triangle. Taking you now to an hourly chart where this pink 3 and 4 is this pink 3 and 4, having a look at the ratios within the end of this pink third wave, this green wave 5, at orange degree between 5, 3 and 1 orange, Wave 3 orange has no Fibonacci ratio to 1. Wave 5 orange, 0 0.05 longer than equality with wave 1. That's a nice relationship between those two. Within the middle of it, wave 3 orange at purple degree. Wave 3 purple has no Fibonacci ratio to wave 1 purple, but wave 5 purple, 0 0.08 longer than 0 0.382 the length of this third wave. Within this third wave at aqua degree, wave 1 aqua, 0 0.07 short of 0 0.382 the length of wave 3 and wave 5 aqua is just 0 0.1 short of equality with wave 1. Within the middle of this at red degree wave 3 red 0 0.03 short of 4.236 the length of wave 1 red and wave 5 red 0 0.02 short of 1.618 the length of wave 1 red. So overall there are a few quite nice relationships between there, a very extended third wave in the middle of this. 
Thereafter, an A, a three-wave structure for B with a triangle in the middle, and an ending, slightly contracting diagonal for the C wave to end wave 4 pink. Thereafter, we're in wave 5 pink to the downside, a green degree, it will subdivide into a 5. We're still just within green 1, most likely, with an orange 1, 2, still to have the end of 3, 4, 5 to end green 1, the first wave within wave 5 pink. A short-term invalidation point, 79.78. Now that wave 3 orange has begun, we should not expect any correction, which would be a second or a fourth to reach beyond the start. Our short-term target, 78.08, is where wave 3 orange will reach 1.618 the length of this wave 1 orange. Having a look at the ratios within this first wave here, at purple degree, Wave 3 purple is exactly 4.236 the length of this wave 1 purple and wave 5 purple here is exactly 1.618 the length of wave 1 purple. Within wave 3 orange, wave 3 purple here has no Fibonacci ratio that I can find to wave 1 purple. That target 78.08 is where wave 3 orange, as I said, will reach 1.618 the length of 1 orange and then we'll have a fourth wave correction at orange degree that at that stage cannot move into wave 1 orange price territory. At that stage we can move the invalidation point from here down to here at 79.18. Just going back to the daily chart, we've got a fair way down to go. This fifth wave at pink degree I expect will be equal in length with this third wave. This first wave was a remarkably short first wave, but that's okay. First waves are often pretty short, and there is a very, very good Fibonacci ratio between waves 1 and 3 at pink degree here. So a few more days for the dollar to continue down somewhere around this target, fairly likely to get close to this lower black trend line, which should provide quite a lot of support for downwards movement. Most importantly, when we see movement above the upper black trend line that's containing wave 2 black to the downside, we'll have a pretty good indication that the downwards trend is over and the dollar has resumed its rise, and price must rise above the end of wave 1. So that's all for me with your free dollar analysis. I hope this helps you in your trading, and have an awesome day.